Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I created this really colorful kind of cut crease. As I said in the end, it kind of reminds me of like cotton candy. But I was still trying to figure out what kind of like vibes it was giving me. Um, it probably looks like really like difficult or whatever. But when I did like this eye, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. And this eye, I was just like, I was just like knocking it out of the park. Um, but for the most part, I absolutely love how this look turned out. It's really really colorful and it's stepping out of my comfort zone. Um. But I really love it. Maybe I'm going to start doing more colorful looks on my channel because I'm used to sticking to my kind of neutrals and stuff like that. But I really like how this look came out. If you want to see how I achieve this kind of cotton candy colorful look, then just feel free and keep on watching. Hi guys, so welcome back. So for today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create this kind of... I don't even know what to call it. It kind of reminds me of cotton candy, but with shimmer and some glitter glitter. <laughs> So the first shade that we're going to start off with is from the Morphe 35B palette, which is this colorful palette right here. And I'm going to start by taking this pink, hot pink shade. And I'm going to take that on my Morphe M502 brush. And with this one, I'm going to kind of try to focus it only on the inner part of my eye. But it's okay if I end up dragging it like kind of all along here because we're going to end up covering that up. And then I'm going to kind of do circular motions here. Just because, as you can see here, I kind of brought it into the crease. Into my inner corner, I'm sorry, I should say. So I'm kind of just going to do circular motions to kind of put that into the inner corner. And then I'm going to make sure I really buff it out. And then the next shade that we're going to go in with is a purple. And same, that's... The same palette, I'm going to go in with this purple shade here. And I'm going to take that on the Morphe M330 brush. And then this shade, I'm going to focus it only in the middle of my eye. I'm going to zoom you guys in just so you guys can see. I'm taking that in the middle. And again, it's okay if I kind of get it towards out here. But since purple is more darker... Then blue, I'm going to try my best to kind of only focus it in the middle. I'm going to go back in with that 502 brush. And I'm going to kind of sweep it just across the whole eye. this kind of it's from BH Cosmetics it's just like a kind of bullet brush and again from the same palette I'm going to take this blue shade here and with this one I'm going to focus this one on the outer portion and I'm going to just put it on my eyelid even though I'm going to end up going back in with concealer and it's kind of just taking that off so it's okay if you get it under eyelid And then I'm just going to go back in with that um, M330 brush and kind of just sweep it across the blue. I'm going to go back in and just add a little bit more purple. And then I'm going to do the same for all three colors. Actually, I'm going to go in um, with the Manny MUA palette with Makeup Geek. And I'm going to take the shade Frappe, which is this shade right here. I'm going to take that with the same 502 brush. And I'm going to apply that to the inner part of my eye. Just because that's what I did with this eye. So I kind of want to keep the same steps as always. And now to highlight my brow one, I'm going to take my Morphe M210 brush. And then from the Manny MUA palette, I'm going to take that white, that white, I'm sorry, shimmer shade. And I'm just going to apply that. And then going in with that 502 brush. And just lightly dusting that away. I'm just going to put the, whatever, like, rest of that purple I have. 
just gonna kind of blend it into the crease into the inner corner i'm sorry just because this eye it looks like it's a little more deeper in the inner corner so that's pretty much it for what i'm gonna do like kind of the top of the crease now i'm just gonna take my tarte shape tooth concealer and i'm gonna apply some to the back of my hand and i'm gonna start to cut my crease um but as you can see i kind of brought my I, I cut it like really really high up than normal just because since I do have smaller eyelids I wanted to do it like high enough to where I could put the glitter and I can put liner and you would still be able to see it when my eyes are open. So I'm just going to take some on a flat synthetic brush and I'm kind of tilting my head back and I have my mirror down here and then I'm just going to start to So now that I went ahead and I cut the crease, I got that white shade that I used for my brow bone highlight and I kind of just use that to set my eye. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. Again, I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand. And what I'm going to do with this one, normally I would apply it to my entire lid. But for this one, I'm going to kind of apply it, I'm going to apply it to the entire lid. However, wherever I know that I'm going to like what I'm gonna do my liner that's kind of where I'm gonna stop so I'm gonna put it on the whole thing but once I get to like my my line where I'm gonna do my liner I'm gonna kind of just stop applying it there because I want it to be easier on me when I do my liner and it is kind of harder to do liner when you have glitter so I'm gonna try to avoid that area but other than that, I'm going to apply it to everywhere else. And then again, if I miss the space when I do my liner, then I can just go back in. And now for the glitter, I'm going to take this NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade 10 Silver. I'm just going to apply some to the cap. And now I'm just going to start to apply it to my lid. So I'm going to take this one, it's the LA Girl Liquid Liner. Okay, so I went ahead and I put my lashes on, and now for the bottom lash line, I'm going to take this just small bullet brush. It's the Morphe M222. I don't know what I said. And then I'm pretty much going to do the same to the bottom that I did to the top. So I'm going to go in first with that hot pink shade. And that's going to go in the inner part of my eye. Then now I'm going to go in with that purple. And then I'm going to apply that to the middle. And now going in with the blue. And now what I'm going to do is I kind of wipe that brush clean. And then I'm just going to kind of lightly, very, very lightly, I'm going to kind of sweep the brush under all those colors. So it should look something like that. And I'm going to take my Stila mask. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. And now for lips. Hmm. I'm going to do this one. This is the Color Rain Liquid Lipstick in the shade of Mars. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you in my next tutorial.